I always think it's over, but then I realize it's not. And what I'm trying to say is that there is even more possibilities with playing the Apes Odyssey and Exodus with the SNES controller. And yet again, I got help from my uh, friend Mornus to show me how to continue. So, in my previous update about Odyssey, I mentioned that I could not continue because of that slog here. And yet again, Mordenus told me that it is indeed possible to get past that slog. All I had to do is that let that first slick see me, then run back here, scaring the slick to fall down. Then I just have to go through the slog, just, just seeing it. And then I have to go back to that slick that I left alone. And then I had to possess that slick. Then I literally just have to go here and say, here boy, the slug would actually hear it and then he would just fall down. Then I could just kill the sleep and I could just press the lever and the stone while no one was here to disturb me. So yeah, this problem was easily solved and all the other doors went pretty fine with no problem and same with the Paramonia nest so Paramonia and Scrapania temple are now complete so everything went fine until I reach Zulek 2 which I bumped into a big problem here I have to do the password for the sleep to let the electric fence turn off and boot. The problem is I don't have the alternate game speed. I asked Mornos if there was literally any impossible ways I could get past that part, but nope, there wasn't. So yeah, so I yeah he told me there's literally no way I can do, not even with glitches or just impossible jumps or movements. So, it's sad to say that my journey with the SNES controller ends here for real. But this video is not over yet because I also have Apes Exodus to discover. And last time I clarified that I could not continue from this part because there was these two Mudokans that I needed to press these ring and I couldn't because they sneezed the lighting gas. So yet again Morton showed me a smart trick to prevent them from sneezing the gas. All I had to do is just calling them then just immediately just running to the left and they will not even sneeze the gas at all. Then I just have to tell them to wait right here. And then I just have to run to the other side. And then I just tell them to follow me. And then I just immediately just run to the next layer. And by this little trick, it, they don't even sneeze the gas because I'm not even showing it at all and because of that it worked now I could just pass this part so yeah so this problem was now fixed so when it comes to the rest of the level in Ape 6 Studios everything went totally fine so Necromines was completed next up was Necrom and the beginning well, went pretty well until I reach this part. Here I had to hit the locker. And since I don't have the alternate game speak with the one hit to hitting the locker, I could not even continue at all. I even asked Mortimus if there was literally any way and he said no, there is not. There's no way I can get past this. However, it's not over yet because there is an alternate way I can continue this game. 
all I had to do is just uh, going back to the bird portal that leads me back to Necromines and into that pipe that can lead me to Figo Depot but I can't because of these Mudokins that are sick and I need them however Mortner showed me a glitch where I can be able to activate all the ring by myself so all I had to do is simply just quick save and then load at the same time then I take one step quick save load take one step quick save and load while I just press in there the rings well it did work and yeah it, I should say it was easy when but, but I also had to react fast but all in all it actually worked and I managed to get to Fico Depot. This was a huge skip. I actually skipped Necro, Mudomo Wild and Mudanchi Wild and just jumped straight into Fico Depot. So thanks a lot Magnus for that trick. And Fico Depot also went pretty well. However Magnus warned me that if I go to Sleek Barracks there will be a lot of flint logs that I have to hit and since I have to get past slick barracks and the whole game well it just means no use that I just go to boneworks instead because I have to go to slick barracks after that so because of that I decide I should also take yet another huge skip and by that I simply just use that lich trick and I just skip those three electric fans and then I went into Soulstorm Brewery. By that part I decided I should also use the electric to make a huge skip. You know just to save myself some time. And then I went to Soulstorm Brewery. The first door that I went into for the first part of Soulstorm Brewery was this one and here I started into a big problem because I needed at least one more Darkin. The problem is they were all angry and they didn't want to follow me. So I could not say sorry to any one of them at all. Which was a problem. So but then I was thinking if I should use the same glitch that I just did to reach Fico Depot. So I did that, but then I realized that there is just a very huge space between these two rings. But I did it anyway, and I just also realized that these drill, drill saws are just on my way so I literally had to just make perfect steps and just make quick save for every uh, line of the drills I'm just getting through and it was just so hard because either that the drill that I was just standing I was just literally just getting down on me well I loaded my quick save or that the one I just have to walk through literally just went down and uh, just died and th this was so hard I like I only reached I don't know the middle of the drills and then everything went really wrong but then I realized that I was a total idiot because I just now saw that there was a lever that just stopped all of the drills and yeah I mean at least it made everything easier for me so all I literally had to do is just do the same trick again and I wouldn't really get disturbed by anything so I now did that and yeah the glitch worked the door opened and I could now continue second door I reached was this one where I had to let Glocken open up these trap floors and to get down here however when I got down I just realized that I needed to say help and 
this was a part of the alternate game speak which I don't have so I couldn't really do anything but then I was already thinking maybe all hope is not lost yet because now at least I opened up all the trap floors so I was thinking you know maybe I could just do the lich trick and just get down here as ape and so I did it and I completed that door next door also went pretty well since I literally just have to uh, roll this ring and then open that door well the mission itself from from this door was optional so I didn't I don't really have to do to just complete this door and then there was the last door and here I could confirm that I could not even continue at all because just like in Odyssey I also need that sleek to do that password to open that door and I also ask Mortimer's yes there's also no way I can continue that way but then I said to myself I that I refuse to really think that my journey should stop here for real so what I did this I was thinking of doing that impossible wall clip glitch where you just it works the same way as the lich trick as you go down but instead you go up and then you can actually use it to jump through walls so after like so many minutes of practicing this glitch and I finally mastered it kinda I just not realized that I cannot jump through slam doors all of that practice was for nothing and pff, boy I was so disappointed by that but at least I learned that glitch so I can now confirm that here is officially the end of Apes Exodus by playing with an SNES controller. There's literally no other way I can continue this at all. But you know what? I'm honestly surprised I could reach that, that far with an SNES controller. Same with Apes Odyssey. So, yeah, this is now officially the end of how far I can progress through the Apes Odyssey and Exodus with an SNES control. There's literally no way, no way I can continue. So, that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.